The sea covers over two-thirds of the planet's surface. Yet we know more about space and the universe than we do about our own oceans. Between the states of Connecticut and New York is the Long Island Sound. A naturally protected channel into New York City used for over hundreds of years. The Sound's rich maritime history has played a significant role in the growth of our country. Join us as we explore its unsung residents and its forgotten history. Captain Dennis with Squalls Marine Divers back again in the Bahamas. Today we're diving the wreck of the Sea Viking. When I got to the bottom, I came across this guy. Cool little sea turtle just making his way through the uh, reef. I don't know if he's looking for food, but he's just hanging out. I got a little sidetracked. I hung out with Mr. Turtle for a while. Because back home, I don't get much contact with marine life. So it was cool just to chill out. And then Jason was trying to get my attention because I had gone way off course. The wreck was that way. Off in the distance, you can make out the silhouette of the Sea Viking. Now, I'm not 100% sure, but I think the Sea Viking was a fishing trawler. It doesn't look like any pleasure boat I've seen, and it definitely looks like a work boat. Heading up towards the bow, she still looks like a work boat. Coming up on the bow section, you can see that uh, somebody dented this up a little bit. Ah, you can just buff that out. You'll be all right. making my way through the ship we're going to take a quick peek inside the sea vikings wheelhouse and see if there's anything interesting in here it looks to me like a bunch of equipment has been removed i'm sure that this wheelhouse had all kinds of cabinetry a wheel to steer the boat and it looks like most of that hardware has been removed to make room for divers like me. And here comes Jason with his camera, always taking pictures. Trying to get his name in the National Geographic. If you're nauseous, I'm sorry, and hopefully you're still with us make my way down into the engine compartment and see what we can see and it looks like it's gone oh there's Jason again gonna take me a Facebook picture how you doing there tag me in a photo
still heading astern. We come across what I think is the cargo hold. So if this was a fishing trawler, this would probably have been all packed up with ice and fish all stacked up nicely. And here we are coming up to the exhaust. I'm not going to pay a lot for this muffler. Well, whatever they paid for it, they got their money's worth because it's still here. Inside one of the bow lines, we come across a pretty cool sea anemone. Little spines there just hanging out. It's a short swim back to the boat, and on my way, I come across this what looks like a downed navigation sign, and uh, I can't go back without looking underneath and watch there. But Mr. Moray Eel, pretty big guy too. I know absolutely nothing about Moray Eels, but I know they can take your fingers if you get too close. Um, I also found out that their vision isn't very good. And everything's based on smell. So luckily I showered before this dive and I was in good shape. Most marine life just kind of leaves you alone, minds your business, you mind your business, they'll mind theirs. They don't want any trouble. You just got to respect them and give them their space. See you later, Mr. Moray. Well, that's about the end of our dive, and it's time for me to say thanks for watching. Be sure to check us out on Facebook, Squalus Marine Divers. Squalus Marine, I don't remember how I did it. And uh, we look forward to seeing you soon. We're all done down here in the Bahamas for the most part, and we're going to be making our way back up to the frigid northeast. So keep in touch. Keep watching, and uh, we'll have a couple more videos up in the near future. I'm Captain Dennis, and we look forward to seeing you next time. And that's a storm cloud.